Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Explosion. We're back, and we begin this episode in Medius Race, in the middle of things. We're going to pick up where we left off last time, um, where we actually got a rocket sort of into orbit, but we need to adjust it a little bit because it's not quite stable, and we're going to try something a little novel this time. I'm going to try to actually learn how to play the game. No, I'm just kidding. I have actually been trying to learn to play the game through trial and error, but uh, what I'm going to try to do today is to learn the um, the maneuver controls, try to get it to do what I want, and then maybe if we have enough fuel left, which I think we will, because I have half of this guy and all of that guy, um, then we'll try to go to the moon. They're pro we probably won't be able to come back, but we can at least try to do that. So if we come here, we can see we are a lithium atom, <laughs> kind of. And we are in an orbit right now with our apoapsis at 93 kilometers and our periapsis at 61. And eventually, I would like to head here to moon. Uh, but first, we need to stabilize this guy. So I'm going to add... Um, a maneuver, and I've been messing around with it, and it seems like if you want to manipulate the periapsis, you want to do it at the apoapsis, and vice versa. So, uh, in order to make this guy a little bit bigger, I would like to make this, whoa, the music comes. I'd like to make this up to about 100 kilometers, about even with this, just to see if I can get us into a more or less regular orbit. So I'm going to add a maneuver at the apoapsis, and we're just gonna pull this way very gently. Whoop, and it spins around. So that's gonna set us 95 kilometers apoapsis, 93 kilometers periapsis. We can go a little, a little bit more maybe. 96, 93. So it's increasing, oh, oh, never mind. That's too much. 323, yeah, we went too far. Let's bring it back down, bring it back down. Whoa, 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 that's, that's not enough. 94, 93.4, that's pretty good, let's do that. Okay, and I think from there, we just have to wait until we get to our spot. And under normal speed, we have, what, uh, about nine minutes. Let's go ahead and turn ourselves around and then we'll do a little bit of a speed up. Okay, stop, 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 stop. There you go. Okay, looks good. Looks good. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. So that time is gonna click down. Oh, very quickly. Let's get it down to about a minute and then adjust. Okay. We have 45 seconds. Okay, so let's use that time to get into position. Here we go. Very good. Stabilize our position so that we're right on that target. A little, no, a little more. This way. This way. A little bit more. Spinning. Sp we're all oh, this is gonna be perfect. Gonna be perfect. Yes. All right. Don't move a muscle. Stay right there. And the RCS should uh, help me maintain that position. So here we go. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Oh, what happened? What did I do? Estimated burn, seven seconds. I think I did something wrong. My estimated burn is getting bigger. Am I pointed the wrong way? Let's see what we did, 94. Oh, 93. We've almost done it, but it, my burn doesn't seem to be doing anything. I mean, my countdown timer doesn't seem to be it's counting up for some reason, like I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let's... Oh! 
when the camera shifts, I think that has something to do with the orbit. 94, 93.4. Okay, I did it, but it didn't give me the right countdown that I was expecting. Apparently we passed it. Maybe that's what happened. I'm not really sure. So let's go ahead and close it because we... Uh-oh. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, how did I do this? Oh, we went too far. <laughs> okay. Uh, I totally screwed that up. Crap. Crap. Okay, let's... Sp <laughs> Great. Disaster. Um, tell you what. Let's see if we can... Darn it. And the moon's way over there. Yeah, that's not good. Maybe I went the wrong way. I don't think so, though. <laughs> and we used a pretty good amount of fuel there. Probably half of my remaining big orange tank. Let's reverse. See if I can put us back into an orbit. How did I do that? Okay, this should be the opposite. This guy right here. So let's slow down our escape trajectory and see if I can f fix it. I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I had it all under control. Apparently we did it wrong. Here we go. Let's slow down. Let's see what happened. Oh, there we go. Oh, excellent. 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 That's at 89. Well, this is one way to do it. This is the Zisto way to do it. Start with a total disaster and then rein it in a little bit. Let's get this guy up so I can see what's going on. So I could throttle up higher, but I'd rather actually do this a little slower. Our periapsis is coming back down to where it was, though, which is not that great. And now it's even lower. So once we get to an apoapsis over here, we're going to need to adjust. Oh, gosh. Great. Let's get it. Let's just get it to 250 and stop. 254. Stop. 249. All right. We really screwed that up. Let's go to the apoapsis. Add maneuver. See if we can fix this. What if I pull on this one? No, that's not it. Okay, let's start over. Let's add a maneuver. What if we pull this way? Oh, that's rotating them uh, along the tangent, which is doing really crazy things. So I think what we really just need to do is go this way with these yellow ones. Okay, and so that gives us an apoapsis there of 257, 198. Let's go a little farther. 222, 265. 230, 272. We're still, I still have a little bit of, we've got five minutes to fiddle with this and then I can speed up time. 230, 280. 236. It really doesn't matter at this point. As long as we get into an orbit where we're not going to be in the uh, in the atmosphere or escaping. Okay. So that looks good. We don't want this guy with the X. Let's go find the blue one. And I believe there's only one. Blue one's over here. Okay, slow down there. Slow down, slow down there, fella. That's a little too fast. I believe there's only one. I wonder if I orbited... Or if I uh, fired in the wrong direction or something, I'm not sure. But let's zoom in. Let's uh, get it right there. And then I'm gonna watch it from the planet view. And so we can see exactly what's happening, what I did wrong. So we have four minutes. Okay, let's speed up a bit. Oh boy, fast. Stop. Okay, we've got a minute. Adjust. Yeah, we should be able to see what happens exactly. Do a little speed up. We're right on target. Okay, 10 seconds. And the estimated burn is only three seconds. Okay, so we're gonna have to be Johnny on the spot with this. Here we go. What's going on? What's my orbit doing? What's my orbit doing? Oh, I ran out of fuel. Okay. Let's go back. Let's just see what happens. 
Oops. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Fire. Fire them rockets. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. I'm, I'm a little panicking right here because I've already messed it up once. Let's just see what happens. I got my finger on the X key, which will shut my engines down. And stop. 327 apoapsis. 232 periapsis. I will take it. Let's get rid of this maneuver. Okay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Let's hit F5 to quick save. Because I actually accomplished something. Okay. Good. Whoa. Okay, the camera's spinning around. And we have almost this whole tank left. Excellent. Good. Okay. So I think I kind of am getting the hang of that a little bit. Let's see, let's set you as a target. And then we've got these new guys here, ascending node, descending node. And I assume that means we want to, oh, we don't have much time. I think that means we want to maneuver right at that point. So let's see, if I do this and I just pull on it. We wink. And then we've got closest approach. 8,000 kilometers separation. Is that 8,000 from there? So we want to, if we want to get into an orbit, do we want to be a little farther away? I'm not really sure. There's the descending node. Target position at closest approach. So by the time I get around here, is he going to be way over there? I'm not really sure. But we'll still be in an orbit so we can swing back around. I kind of think he's going to be way over here by the time we get over there. So does that mean we need to do this? Oh! Target position and closest to perch. Descending node. I think this one may actually work. I'm not sure I'm exactly doing this right. Let's just try this. Let's see what happens. Oh, and we're almost there too. Okay, we have to get over... Oh, oh, this uh, this guy spins much quicker. Do we want the blue? What is this pink one? See how we have a new pink one? I don't know what the pink one is. Do I want the blue one or the pink one? I think I still want the blue one because it's a maneuver. Maybe the pink one is my target. Maybe that's moon. That could be. Okay, we have 24 seconds. This is very tense. <laughs> very tense. And I think I'm going to do it mostly from this screen so I can watch the orbit go. Okay, here we go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And we're going to burn for 26 seconds. Throttle up and then get ready with the X button. Here we go. And, oh, here we go. Need to pay more attention. Stay on that target. And our estimated burn is decreasing. Our orbit is expandicating. Excellent. Stay on that mark. Mark one, two. Mark three, four. Okay, 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 okay. Almost there. No, no, stay on No, no, oh gosh. Stay on target. Stay on target. And stop. Did we do it? I'm not sure. I guess we need to wait until we get over there. Okay, so let's remove that. This is still our target. I guess we want to see what happens once we get over there. And we have more than half of this tank left. And we've already that's already our second burn with this tank. So that means we probably will have enough to fiddle around with our, our situation some more. All right, time warp. Zoom. Look at these guys zooming around. Okay. So I assume target position, this is our target, that's where it'll be when we get here maybe? Closest approach. I think these two, because they're the same symbol, just one's upside down. I think we're supposed to match them up. Uh, but I think I probably didn't do it right. I think they're supposed to meet or something like that. Because that's kind of what the little graphic looks like. Let's go even faster. Oh, a thousand times. Let's see if we can get caught by this moon. Or do we need to speed up even more? Uh oh. Crap. Okay. We, we screwed it up. That's for sure. It's way over there. That's still our target. 
Um, <laughs> I'm a little unsure of how to get over there, like where I should be placing a maneuver. Let's just add one there. Okay, and let's just see what happens. Let's fiddle with it. Where's our, um, the opposite of that? I'm not seeing it, which means, oh, it's way over here? I don't know, man. This is really confusing. Maybe uh, for this one, we should just try to get back to a normal orbit. Here, let's close this. Mm, no, this way. Let's get rid of that. So we missed it. Let's try to get back to orbit here and just put it in a stable orbit again. Let's try that. Okay, so time warp. And we can remove you. Unset that target. Unset target. Yeah, we definitely did that wrong. Look at those guys. Oh my gosh. Calm down, fellas. Calm down. No, no. Oh gosh. Whew. Okay. Um, so, I think we need to put in a maneuver here to slow ourselves down. Do we pull it? No, that's going to spin it around. Um, I'll get rid of you. I want to get rid of it. There. Oh, yeah. I do not want to set a target of the bundle bundle. Okay. So maybe we do this. Yes. This is the one. There we go. So this is the maneuver we're going to... Wow. This is going to be a wonky orbit. Look at the camera doing all kinds of crazy stuff. 656. Let's make it smaller. 376. Okay, what's this one at? 218. 228. I'll take it. Okay, we've got 36 minutes to get there. Let's move to the blue mark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And I, I guess the pink one is... Pro whoa, no, no. Gosh, stop. <laughs> Go around. RCS. I wonder, how, how do you check your RCS tank? to see how much you have. I know it's one of these. I've seen Kurt do it. Maybe I can check this. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, we have more than half left. Good. Okay, get out of here. Go away. Go away. Okay. Get to the target. So this little guy, you can actually use this to help you know which direction you need to go. This little up arrow is actually up. So by hitting W right there, I'm it looks like I'm moving down. Or we could rotate, I guess, so that it makes more sense. But it looks like that arrow is always down. So I'll just leave it. But uh, I figured that out, and that helps with orienting. Let's go back to this. And speed up. Let's see if we can fix our orbit. And we'll just leave him. Oh, gosh, that's too fast. <laughs> leave him in orbit. We will leave him in orbit. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. <laughs> um, we're going to leave him in orbit with the other two. And then we'll uh, we'll start over with a new rocket that hopefully is a little bigger. Because honestly, last time, last episode, I felt, even though we got into orbit, I felt it was a little bit of a failure because my rockets, instead of getting progressively more powerful, they got progressively simpler and weaker. So I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> we need to make something big and crazy that works. Those are my requirements. Okay, here we go. Let's speed up briefly. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yoinks. That's a, that's a curt term for you. Yoink. Estimated burn. And our orbit is shrinking back to what it needs to be. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we're going to hit X as soon as this timer runs out. Oh, crap. We went right by it. <laughs> Did you see it spin away? But that's okay. We are now at 237 and 202. That's fine. Whatever. It's fine. That's fine. Let's cancel this maneuver. If I can click on it. Get out of here. Okay. So, we have three guys in orbit. And that orbit should not decay. Uh, we're well out of the atmosphere with that guy. So, let's try a new rocket design. 